Hi everyone, let's discuss a super shortcut for binomial theorem. You would have come across this question before which says find the term independent of x in the given expansion. Now we all know the traditional method but just in case you have to find it within few seconds, well let's check out the video. The term independent of x in this question would be The fifth term. Yes, it is that quick. You want to know how? Well, ye to mere bai hat ka khel hai. Let's check out the formula. So, if you ever come across this form, which is a into x raised to power p plus, this could be anything. R could be any number, any constant upon b into x whole raised to power q whole raised to power n. In this case, our R becomes n into the power of this x, which is p, upon p plus this q. That's it. And the moment you get your R, you know your general term is always tr plus 1. So, so tr plus 1 becomes the term independent of x. So look here one more time. Here in this expression, your n is 6, your p if you see is 2, this a is 3 by 2 but we are really not interested, this r is 1 again not interested, please note this expression works well whether it is plus or a minus sign and now your q over here is just a 1. So that's it, my r became n into p which was 6 into 2 upon p plus q. So this gives you 4 as the answer then you know the fifth term becomes the term independent of x. Now look at another question it says root x upon root 3 plus root 3 upon 2x square whole raised to power 10 and you have to find the term independent of x. Let's simplify this a bit first. You can do that mentally. This root x just remember means x raised to power half. This root 3 by 2 is something again we are not interested in and this was anyway x square. So now from here if you see your n is 10, your p is half and your q is 2. So your r becomes n into p upon p plus q which means 5 upon this gives us 5 by 2 so the answer is 2 that means it is the third term which is independent of x please note all these steps can be done mentally i am just showing you everything to ensure you follow the procedure so if you followed the procedure then this is a little diy for you which says find the term independent of x in the given expression and you know you need to answer in the comment section below. Just to give you a hint, this means this is 1 upon x raised to power 1 by 5. And now I am sure you might even be able to solve it mentally. So if you found this video useful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with people around you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many more math videos. I will see you with the next one real soon. But before that, don't forget to check out the playlist on my channel for many more math shortcuts and other concepts. Until then, bye-bye.